scikit-learn tip number one. Using column transformer to apply different pre-processing to different columns. So this is a very common need and column transformer just makes it highly convenient specifically for selecting from a data frame and specifically for selecting columns by name. So this is new in scikit-learn 0.20. Um, and in the example, we've got here a four column data frame called X, and we're going to go down and uh, do some imports and create some instances of one hot encoder and simple imputer, and we'll talk in a second what those do. And then here is the heart of the tip. It's about using column transformer, specifically the make column transformer function, and we're going to pass it two tuples. The first tuple is this one, the second tuple is this one, and then we'll pass it one more argument. So the first tuple is about one hot encoding embarked in sex. So those are categorical columns. We're going to one hot encode them, which is the same as dummy encoding. And there are three possible values for embarked. So it shows up as three columns once one hot encoded. There are two possible values for sex. So those show up as two columns. So one hot encoding of these two columns. Then I want to do a imputation, meaning imputing missing values, filling in missing values of the age column, because you can see the age column has one missing value. Uh, by default, it imputes the mean value of that column. And here we go. You can see the 31.2 is the mean of the five other values. And finally, we've got the uh, remainder argument, which says, I want to pass through other columns. So basically, um, whether you have four columns or 400 columns, you're going to specify some columns, and then you have to tell the column transformer what it should do with the remaining columns, meaning all columns you did not specify here. So in this case, we want to pass through the remainder, which means essentially don't transform the remaining columns I didn't mention, which in this case is just fair, go ahead and pass it through untransformed. The other option would have been drop, which means just ignore it and don't include it in the output. Um, so fit transform is how you run the transformation. And here's our output. Notice the ordering. It's in the exact order specified within the column transformer. Embarked and sex, uh, one hot encoded, age, imputed, and the remainder at the end. So that's the ordering. It has nothing to do with the ordering in the data frame. It's about the ordering you put it in in the column transformer. And this here is the feature matrix that's going to get passed to a model or further transformed.